Hey, it's Ina Colada, and welcome to the Shopify in Printful training. And I'm really excited that you're here. And if you haven't watched my previous videos, definitely check those out first. I'll have a link in the description below to the playlist. So in today's video, we're going to go through the setup guide aspect of switching Shopify payments and offering Apple Pay. This will make it easier for customers to make a purchase because they don't have to type in their credit card numbers because that might take them 30 seconds or they don't have their purse and they have to go get their wallet. So Apple Pay and Shopify is just a game changer because it makes paying for your stuff simple and you want to make things as easy as possible for your customers to eliminate any hesitation. So we're going to click here to learn more about Shopify payments. And they'll be able to use their iPad, their iPhone, their Mac with the Apple Pay. So I'm going to go ahead and click switch to Shopify payments. There's a uh, pricing. It's pretty basic. 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction in the U.S. It's a little different for international sales. So, oh, here it says credit card rates as low as 2.9%, 30% cent per transaction or 0% transaction fee. So it says you also need to put in some other information to start accepting payments with the Shopify payments. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this green button that says complete account setup. So we have to put some more details in there. Let's check it out and see what it is. Business type. If you don't have a business, you really need to get with the Secretary of State in your state and start a sole proprietorship, corporation, an LLC, something like that because you don't want to get in trouble with the government. You've got to claim your taxes. And you can use an EIN number if you have an LLC. If you have a sole proprietorship, you can even use your social security number. So I'm going to go ahead and go through this. It has a lot of the stuff already um, labeled in there. And I do have a a pen name, I'm not going to tell you guys what my real name is. And then you got to put your birthday, all that general information that they need. So I'm going to blur out a lot of this so you can't see all of my secret information. Okay, so you're going to pick your business category. I'm going to pick clothing and accessories business subcategory will be um, other clothing and accessories. That's what I'm going to pick. Food related. And you're going to want to a little description there. I'm going to make this really generic for right now. This will probably help your SEO if it shows up in search there. So my customer billing statement will be um, my business name, Corkaby Shop. That's where I'm going to sell wine and food related goods and clothes. So you got your phone number in there and go ahead and click continue setup. If you want to read the terms and conditions, you have a good time doing that. I'm going to skip that part because it's all just a bunch of gobble to you to me anyway. Okay, the next step is secure your account with two-step authentication. So this will be um, a method as push notifications. Your payouts will take longer if you don't turn on the two-step. So I want my payments and the money in my bank as soon as possible. So I'm going to turn on that two-step you'll get your money faster. So then the next screen that pops you over to, you have to log into your Corkaby shop, put in your password, and this is pretty basic stuff, right? So I have to put my number in here and then get an authentication code. So you're gonna have a different code than I am, so I'm not gonna share that with you and then click turn on. 
All right, so it says I've set up an SMS delivery method. Next time I log in, I'll get a text message containing a code. Secure your recovery codes. You'll need to download them. Um, you rec they recommend that you save it in Password Manager, like LastPass or 1Password. My favorite is 1Password. If I didn't have 1Password, I would go insane because I have so many passwords. So we are going to, oops, sorry. I have a lot of stuff going on with all these tabs. So I highly recommend that you put all of your codes into your password manager because if you don't have them, you might be sorry later. All right, so I'm gonna go to my Corkaby shop setting here and put in, and I'm gonna give it a label. Recovery codes. If you don't have a password manager, definitely go in and print that out so you don't lose these because you might need these someday to get logged into your account. Okay, we've got all those saved. Not very um, nice looking, but that's okay. As long as I know where they are. So then make sure you save those, print those off, keep them somewhere safe and don't share those codes with anybody. And then click continue, the green button at the bottom. We are getting very close to having Apple Pay and all of that good stuff hooked up to our Shopify store. Oh, it says the information that I submitted couldn't be verified. The business information may be incorrect. So I'm gonna go through that and submit it again and see what happens. Maybe I typed a number in wrong. It's actually an LLC, not um, a sole proprietorship. Oh, it did not match my company name. That was the problem. So I needed to have my actual business name and not my um, DBA, which is doing business as. So how I like to have my company now, I have Dina Colada Enterprises LLC, and then I have a DBA for different aspects of the business. So let's see if that works. And if you do a DBA, you'll need to contact your state, probably the Secretary of State, and let them know you're doing business under a different name. Okay, so then we need to add our bank account. All right, so then we have these options here. Pay out to Shopify balance. It says there's no monthly fees, no minimum balance required to make purchases. I really want to connect it to my bank. It's gonna take a couple days. Um, it says you can connect a bank via plaid. So you can choose to do that or you can add your bank account information manually and it takes five business days. So I'm gonna go ahead and use plaid. I think I've already done that before because I want it to go straight into my bank account. So I'm gonna click complete setup and let's see what happens here. Okay, you can connect plaid to your Shopify. So click continue. So I've gotta put my bank in here. Let's see if that works. And we're gonna go right on in there and connect it up. Oh, it says the credentials I provided were incorrect, so let's try it again. Oops. Let's see if it works this time. Fingers crossed. I think I changed, oh, I think I changed. Let's try again. Maybe 
Yeah, I don't remember what my password is. Okay, I don't remember my password. So I'm going to go ahead and exit. And I'm okay with that. So I am going to add a bank instead. So you'll get to see there are issues, little techie issues that can happen when you're setting stuff up. All right, so the next step to add your bank, and you'll get your payouts in five days. One, eight. So you wanna type in your routing number, which is the first row of digits on a check that you have and then your account number. And you wanna make sure you have the actual right number on there. So double check, because you don't want it going into somebody else's bank account. You want it going into yours, right? And I'm double checking. Okay, that's looking good to me. Let's see if this will work this time. I've got my fingers crossed one, one more time. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I like to go step by step in these videos because it's really good for beginners and I don't want to rush too quickly so you get lost in, in my training videos. So, all right, it looks like we have connected our bank. And so let's go to payouts and see what that looks like here. So you can keep track of your payouts here. You can view your transactions. And I think that that is gonna be all that we need to do for this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment on these videos if you have questions. Let me know what you think, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.